Another constraint we can put on our data is that of foreign keys. Now the check constraints, they look at one row at a time, um, and the unique constraints, the primary key constraints, also look at the column at a time, but we haven't looked at any constraint that looks between tables. So the foreign key constraint actually uh, allows you to reference one table from another. So in this case, notice here I have two tables. I have people table and a car table, and um, I have the appropriate checks to drop the tables if they already exist, so I can hit F5 all I want here. But um, So people table and car table. Now, people will own cars. Notice cars have license plate numbers. So basically I'm going to store all the different kinds of cars. Maybe, maybe my business is about uh, employees and I want to store their car information. Or who knows? Who cares? Okay? So there's no real link, though, between who owns what car. If I go down here, notice... I down here, I, I inserted some some data here, so I'm putting myself in the database and Sue Smith and Bob Bobbert, and then I'm only going to put two cars in here: ABC one two three. That's the license plate, and then Ford Excursion and oh, we can't have two excursions. Let's do Mustang, Ford Mustang. Okay, identified by their actual license plates. Notice here, I I have license plate number, and of course, I forgot to put primary key. Okay, so if we run this, looks like all the inserts work correctly. I think we're good. So, so notice though, if we look at this data here, I, I have cars and I have employees or people, and I don't know who owns what cars. So, there's a few ways depending on uh, what scenario we want, and I'll talk about that in another video. But for now, we're going to say each car has an owner. So, I'm going to say uh, owner ID is going to be an int. Okay, so what I insert now, this owner ID here. Uh, correlates with this the the people ID up here. So notice um, since I insert into people values Jamie King, Sue Smith, Bob Bobbert, and this is an identity column, the ID, the people ID. Jamie King's uh, identity value is going to be one, and Sue's going to be two, and Bob's going to be three. And it's it's kind of bad that I'm just assuming this. It's true, but <laughs> you don't want to rely on that. Anyway, um, so I want to insert into cars these values, but now I need to supply a third value. And the third value is the owner ID. Okay, so let's say that um, I don't want to own the excursion. Let's say Sue owns the excursion, and let's say Jamie owns the Mustang. That sounds good to me, don't you think so? Uh, and then Bob's just, the, Bob doesn't have a car. Okay, so run this. Looks like it ran just fine. In fact, let's actually show you the data. Select flat from people. Uh, I need it from people. Select flat from cars. Run that. And here's our here's our tables. And you see we the the tables are set up exactly how we want them to be. Uh, owner ID. So if I want to know who owns this excursion with license plate ABC one two three, I look at the owner ID of two, and I can see Sue Smith owns that. And then this Ford Mustang. Uh, I can see that Jamie King owns that. So, so that's good dandy. But what if I did, uh, I don't know, 20 out here? So the Ford Excursion, now the uh, the employee with uh, the value of 20 there owns it. Well, now let's look at our data. So ABC123, Ford Excursion, owned by owner ID 20. If we look at our owners, uh, there's no 20. So really what we want to do is say this, the values down here, are a subset of the values up here. Meaning if we say that somebody owns a car, that owner better exist over here. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's a foreign key. We want to go from this table to a foreign table over here. That's a foreign key. So let's go back up here, and I'm going to say... Um, if I remember, I can just say, hey, owner ID references, references what? References people ID. So references people ID. I believe that's the syntax. Oh, look at the problem here. And, of course, I forgot to do it. There are no primary key or candidate keys in the reference table, meaning if we're going to reference a column, it has to be the primary key. So let's rerun that. Oh, look at that. Now we get an error when we try to do our 20 here. It says, hey, the insert statement conflicted with foreign key constraint uh, cars to owner ID. That gives us, that, that, that default error or uh, constraint name is a little intuitive because it's, it's cars that reference, references the, uh, 
the car's owner ID column uh, references the the other one. Anyway, if I go and I change this to a two, well now we do we do have a two. That's Sue Smith. So so then um oh this is kind of interesting the uh, the drops here. Okay, let's take a little tangent. Sorry, but let's do. Um, up here, notice I have if object ID people is not null, drop table people. If object ID cars is not null, drop cars. So, so look what's happening here. It's basically my dropping of people failed. And the reason why it failed is we created that foreign key from cars to people. In fact, if I go, let me, I can uh, actually, one way we generally draw these is, I mean, we don't draw them on our code, we draw them in our modeling, but, but basically, Cars references. Oh, let's go. Let's undo that. Cars references people. So that's an arrow tip there. So because cars depends on people, and pe people, we can't drop the people table until this dependency of cars is gone. So this uh, this drop actually failed. That's what that's saying. But the the second drop there, where we dropped the cars table, it succeeded because nothing. Notice nothing depends on cars. So the cars table is actually gone. So so when I removed the cars, after trying to remove the peoples, now this dependency there uh, disappears with with the uh, with the cars table. So if I highlight this and uh, F5, it says, oh, okay, there's nothing dependent on the people table. Go ahead and drop it. So anyway, so now we uh, if I, I I can put a two here, and the two works fine because owner ID two exists. So anyway, that's that's foreign key in a nutshell. You can have, uh, you c you can um, set foreign keys on a table level. Notice here I def define the owner ID references people here, but I could do that as a table constraint if if I have more than one column. It makes more sense if I have two columns that have to reference two columns in another table. Then I down here at a, at the table level I would define that. But again, it's it's all about constraining our data. We don't want owners to just pop up if those owners don't exist. So there you go.